Well, here we are again. Finally at the end of this project, uh, getting the door on the, on the back of the trailer. Uh, it's been a real pain in the ass, but uh, it works the way I wanted it to, and I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, it will make a good sunshade <laughs> if I had a place to park it where I could get in and out of the sun. So uh, let me run it up and down a couple of times for you and show you how it works and some of the locks and stuff on it. Uh, I don't have a mic, so the audio is really bad uh, with this camera. So here we go, we'll go down. Okay, so the gas springs hold it in. They're off center, so that, uh, when it's down, it's pushing it back in. Uh, and when it's up, it's holding it up. Down at the bottom, I've got some little latches that I made that keep, they keep from bouncing around while we're on the road. And they just flip up and slide down. That locks it in, can't come out at the bottom. And I've also got a, a hasp on the bottom where I can lock it up. I'll put a cover over this uh, and there'll be some cushioning in the back just in case the, bed, the uh, back of the cart shifts a little bit. And uh, I'm not quite sure what I want to do along the seams here yet. I might do a little something. I could caulk it <clears throat> that would seal it up and smooth it out a little bit. Or I could go over it with a little bit of an angle, uh, aluminum angle iron uh, trim piece. But uh, works pretty nice. Oops. I'm going to get the safety latches off. And there we go. Pretty nice, I think. I'm pretty happy with it. Up inside here, you can see how that came out. my own hatchback. Okay, that's about it for today. Uh, oh, I did want to mention one thing. I was going to post something on the uh, forum about this. Uh, I've never seen a need for a, a, a pneumatic riveter. <clears throat> but I'm using 3 16 steel rivets and boy they are a bear to pull. I banged up my knuckles and my wrist this morning just getting a couple of them in. Had to put 8 inch extensions on the on the ends of the uh, the, the manual rivet uh, gun and I just gave up. I said this is crazy I'll never get 75 of these done to <laughs> without killing myself. So I broke down and I bought one of these pneumatic riveters. Uh, I saw one on Dennis Thomas's bench in one of his videos a couple of years ago, I think it was. And I, I thought at the time, you know, what, what in the world does he need a pneumatic riveter on a, on a cycle cart for? Probably pulling one eighth rivets. And uh, I know now <laughs> what, what a handy tool they are. And uh, it's a little bit expensive, but. Uh, it's something that, you know, I'll, I'll use for the next 21 years <laughs> uh, if I last that long. So, but really, really a handy tool. It took me, it didn't take me maybe five minutes to do each one of these panels. 
and, uh, and there's like uh, 18 or 20 rivets in each one and it's just bang 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 and they're all done so great little tool harbor freight <laughs> and it actually worked which is pretty unusual for harbor freight okay finish up the electric in it and uh, I think we'll be other ready, just about ready to load and, and go on a trip.